I'm firefighter Becky Barr from Lancashire Fire and Rescue. Now, unfortunately this year, due to COVID-19, many of our favourite bonfire and firework displays have been cancelled. But if you can't wait until 2021, I've got some friends on hand to give you some expert bonfire and firework advice. So tell me what people should think about when they go and buy fireworks to start with. When they're buying fireworks, it's really important that they're looking for the CE mark, which is on each individual firework and also the box that it comes with. Uh, really important when they're storing the fireworks at the home that it, they remain inside the box that they come with and equally keeping them out of the way of children. So what do people need to bear in mind when they're getting ready to have fireworks? Uh, really important that when they're getting ready to have fireworks that they make sure that they, the ground that they're going to put it in is nice and safe, it's equally it's nice and open, um, that they're making sure that the ground is suitable so it's stable, there's not likely that the firework is going to fall over on the floor. So what Charlie's going to do now is he's going to go over and check the ground that he's um, about to place it into. Make sure that there's no naked flames around, uh, i.e. any lit cigarettes. Again, making sure that your pets are inside in a safe place and your children are far back from, from the initial zone where you're going to be lighting that firework. So what's important when it comes to actually lighting the fireworks? So it's really important that you're doing it safely. So as you can see now, Charlie's making his way over to the firework. He's lighting it at arm's length with a taper, which is provided in every firework box. Once the firework has been lit, then he, he mustn't return back to that firework and just leave it in situ. So do stay safe this bonfire night. If you decide to celebrate at home, then do follow our safety advice too. But as an alternative, we'll be hosting a virtual bonfire night live on Facebook on Thursday the 5th of November at 6.30pm, so you could join us there. It'll involve a bonfire and fireworks display, tour of the fire engine, and finish with a bedtime story by firefighter Cluffy, who many of you will know and love from the lockdown sessions. So do follow us for more on our Facebook page.